it is Sunday. Uh, come here, Piper. It is Sunday, everybody, and it's um, cold, right, Suzanne? Yep. Oh my God, it's overcast and it's cold, right, Pipe? What are you doing? Piper likes going in there because that's where there's some more, um, some more dirt to lay the, lay the eggs and the pee and poop for the dogs. Okay. Hey, everybody. So I'm Kevin, and my friends call me the Tortoise Guy, and we got beautiful, the lovely Suzanne, um, who's a next door neighbor and a great friend. Did you realize, Suzanne, that you're in the sizzle reel video that we put out in 2019 and, and got chopped around on Animal Planet and all this stuff? No. You're in there. Do you remember you, see you come in with a whole bag of, of greens? Suzanne has a... Work, uh, what do you do? It's, a, it's a community doing. garden. That's right. Community garden, right? So, hey, everybody. I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, and um, it's uh, a cold morning here. We got Sniper the bird over there right here. All right, so there's some cool things happening. There's many cool things happening. And it just happened that um, as we were starting here, who was walking down Tortoise Land Mountain? Somebody you don't hear from a lot. She's all dirty, needs a good scrub, okay? So the tortoises here, you know, they do have dirt areas and everything, everybody. So, you know, people that watch the shorts sometimes, I'll get, thank you for the comments. Thank you for the emails been a lot of them and I have not been great about returning any of them. Well, life has been chaotic, shall we say, right? And there's been so much going on and I just haven't got to it. I have gotten a whole lot of... Yeah. Sniper? That's Sniper, yeah. You could zoom in on Sniper maybe. Right? Can you zoom in and see it? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's a, so that's Sniper, Sniper the bird. Sniper's so clever. I have the lid open over there to the box turtles and maybe a surprise tortoise. And uh, Sniper knows when, when things are open and, oh, there's a partner now, it's spring, okay? And they go in and they grab their mealworms and stuff. How crazy is that? But anyways, everybody, I want to say thank you for, for being here. And if you're on, you come on, tell us who you are, okay? Um, I, uh, thank you, because we like knowing who you are, where you're from. And uh, so this is a tortoise that, uh, there are over 55 tortoises here now in tortoise land. Now of those, we have, you know how many babies have been born, Suzanne? 31. No, how about since last week? 38. Wow. Okay, Shy Girl has laid an incredible 134 eggs over 30 weeks, okay? And I think she laid some more last week. Okay, she was going around looking for a place and she went under over there and I threw dirt over there for her and I left her alone and I think she stayed there all night. I think she laid eggs, everybody, but I'm not, I'm not picking them up. She laid 134. I'm going to let nature take care of that if she did because now spring is coming. It's getting warmer. So look at, so we got, what have we got going on? We got some cool things. We're going to be real quick today. Okay, it's cool out. The tortoises aren't out. Got a few things to tell you. This is Blackie. Now Blackie is a, she's a resident here. She is a beautiful um, hey, Blackie. Greek tortoise, okay? Look at her. Now she has a real interesting story, okay? Um, so she came here when she was little. She was not born here. And it was so long ago, I don't remember how I came upon her, okay? I am a member of the California Turtle and Tortoise Club. Okay, you look them up. For 35 bucks, you can join. You don't have to live here in LA. And uh, it's a nonprofit group, just like we are, okay? And they're dedicated to, we are dedicated, I'm a member, um, to the education, and, you know, of that, of people that, you know, that are interested in turtles and tortoises. Not only that, but you can acquire, adopt uh, a, a tortoise through them. So a lot of these tortoises, at least the ones that have been here a long time, came through them. So it's a great organization, California Turtle and Tortoise Club. Look it up, I'm a member. I love them, they love me. And, uh, and we help each other. I've raised money for them in the past. So this is Blackie. Blackie has given birth to three babies. Uh, that, that, uh, Jimmy the Greek, Janie the Greek, and Baby Gargantuan, Baby Gargantuan. Check out that playlist. So we're real proud of her, okay? Real proud of her. And I just bring her up because you know you know about the other tortoises, like Dan, uh, like Punk, help me Suzanne, and, Lumpy, Lumpy shy, shy girl, girl, all those wonderful tortoises. The elongated, if you didn't catch the video last Sunday, ha, ha, ha. Okay, Easter Sunday, did a great video. 
called shocking you know thing happens with elongated tortoises now we have a really cool video that came out this morning okay and uh, we're gonna just walk around the corner we have two interesting animals to talk about right Susan mm -hmm. one of them just might be furry and likes to eat nuts and something cool is going on with that one and then there's another little guy right around the corner so stay tuned and there we have 30 Three. It's hard to keep count. Okay, thirty-three um, baby, baby uh, uh, shy girls, tw kids. We're gonna meet. Okay, and the newest one just went in the nursery this morning. Okay, so um, we're gonna we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put Blackie down. Okay, and like I said, <clears throat> it's cold out here. Now look how cool this is, everybody. Toy Slam Mountain. So proud of it. You realize it's been. Is my mic on? Oh, the mic's not on. Okay. This darn thing. Hey, you guys, if you can't hear me, this, you know, this is, hold on one sec, Susan. Uh, grab this. Grab this, okay? This thing drives me crazy, okay? All right. Okay. Can you hear me now? Is anybody on, Susan? Nobody, not a soul, huh? Okay, that's fine. All right. We're glad to have you because you can watch this live stream anytime during the week, okay? Um, what do I want to say? I want to say that, uh, I don't know what I want to do. We're going to go around the corner. Oh, okay. So listen. So I want you to see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, there's one more tortoise here. There's one more guy. Okay. This is, uh, um, he, he, she, she likes coming out, you know. It's uh, our box turtle white. It's actually a boy. Can't really see. It was outside here and it's cold out. So it has the heat pads. But, you know, box turtles, you know, a lot of times... They, well, they are hibernators, okay? And she came out of hibernation. I'm gonna put her back in the heat pad, okay? And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Blackie. Oh, I was gonna tell you the Blackie's a little bit of a story. Blackie, okay? Oh, that's how I got sidetracked. 20, 2019, when we made that sizzle reel, that Animal Planet stuff got interested in. Um, Blackie, I left her out one night. We didn't have toys in the mountain or anything. This was all dirt. And we had a little tortoise house back there. Never leave the tortoises out ever. Had a yard sale, was exhausted, didn't do a count, and I didn't know she was out. So it was New Year's Eve 2019. So come out here New Year's Day to do tortoise stuff. And who comes around the corner here? Blood all over the front of her. Right here, Blackie. The one night I left her out in all the years, she's about 15 years old now, okay? All the years I left her out, I left any tortoise out, covered in blood. What happened? Can you see right here under her, under her, under her, um, under her head there? You see like there's a little area right there, okay? She got attacked by a creature undetermined, whether it was a big rat, a raccoon, whatever. This They ate part of her plaster on there, okay? So I was freaked out, of course, love this girl. Rushed her to Access Vet, okay? And um, and guess what? They sewed her up. But luckily, whatever chewed her up stopped right there. If they'd gone any further, then they would have got her. And, and you know, she'd be dead. But they stopped right here, sewed her up, came home, good as new. The next day, what'd she do? On January 2nd, laid eggs, okay? Laid two eggs, okay? And uh, that egg that would be born was Jimmy the Greek. Okay, how cool is that? So, right? So her, her, her husband is here um, named uh, Pepe, okay? So we're real proud of her, right, honey? Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna bring them over here, put them on the heat pad. Hold on one sec. All these, we have pens over here, everybody. And today's double scrub day, so we haven't had a chance to make it all sparkling clean yet. But what do we have, Susan? We'll just show you real quick, okay? One of the unique, You're at nine and a half already. Okay. One of the unique things about about Tortoise Land here, we are a nonprofit. Okay. We we are uh, tortoise um, rescue, rehabilitation, and um, rehoming and education. So one of the cool things here is the tortoises can choose themselves where they want to go. These are heat pads right here. Okay. So these guys, we're gonna put them up here. They're gonna get nice and warm. She was already warm. She came down the stairs. Okay, so, all right, I want to show Susan, pan around there. Let's see, ready? I hope we have audio. Yeah, we do. Okay, hi, Pipe, come on, honey. You know Piper, where's Rocky? 
Well, he might be around the corner. We'll see. All right, Susan, I want to sh want you to show what's going on here. The ground? Yeah, yeah. Show the whole place. Cause everybody, you're gonna take a look. Piper wants see. attention. Right. Come on over here. Everybody. Take a look and see the whole place. This is something you don't usually see with with uh, tortoise land, everybody. So what are you seeing here? You're seeing a big empty space, right? Because why? Take a look at the ground. We have got a fresh coat of paint on everything, and look at how cool, so like the yellow. So our colors, you know, for the tortoise guy, you know, the colors are bright yellow and bright green and bright orange, right? And red. And uh, now, did you know tortoises see color really well? You know that, Suzanne? Mm -mm. They see color really well. So they see color, they go for it. Who's out? Who's coming out? Oh, Leo. Come here, honey. Leo, super awesome. Hi, pal. Come here. Let's see. Oh, he's nice and warm. He's nice and warm. Okay. Uh, so Leo, and I don't want to see him go, but Leo might be rehomed soon to a woman in Chicago area. How about that? I've never, never rehomed to somewhere out of state. Um, but, you know, we've talked extensively. Her name is Donna, Donna Kelly. And uh, she already has several tortoises. She has shown me her yard, all that stuff. So if you're interested in a tortoise, you don't have to live here. But you do have to, you know, that we will have a talk with you about making sure you have the right facilities and the right, you know, for, for the tortoise, right? Okay. And so you, how do you reach me? The tortoiseguy.com. Contact us, right? This is Leo. Leo's been here forever. He is a he's a leopard tortoise and he couldn't be more friendly. Look at that. Hi, buddy. Okay. Just love him. Tortoises, people don't realize that maybe friendly as can be most of them. Really fun. He's got his brother, Spike, who's on the wall over there. Go show Spike. Okay, Spike is crazy permitting. You see that there? Can you zoom in on that? There you go. See that? That's his brother. And go figure, they grew up together, okay? Raised together, eat together, everything. Spike's out of control with the pyramid. No idea why, you know, okay? But this is Leo. And uh, we're going to go around the corner. So listen, so what's going on here? What are we doing here with the fresh coats of paint and stuff? All right, what's going on, Suzanne? Spiffing the joint up. Yeah, so who says that? me oh you do it. that's right so what's going on we got a big fundraiser going on may 20th and 21st here at tortoise land we're calling it the spring uh cleaning and what are we doing a community yard sale and silent auction we already got a cool three really cool pieces for the silent auction unique stuff okay you don't have to be here in tortoise land you can be anywhere in the world because why we're going to live stream it okay so our goal is to raise ten thousand dollars everybody okay and we're going to have it all out front we're asking everybody in the community to bring really good stuff to donate to the yard sale okay and for people to buy cool things from the silent auction and neighbors and everybody can come in here and see the tortoises right okay so that's coming up on may 20th and 21st oh maybe we're going around the corner to see a little furry guy named nuts the squirrel okay all right everybody so come on here we're gonna go meet two of two uh look at there goes leo look how look how amazingly clean shanty it is. says that she got to watch you on sunday on a sunday yay said so, it again who says that shanty shanty hi shanty and she said what she got to watch i can't see it anymore oh oh okay. when I, you, if you press the screen it'll come back up did it come back up she gets to watch you on a Sunday, yay. Oh, yay. Hi, Shanty. Thanks for watching, everybody. Okay. All right. So something cool is happening. Look at this, everybody. Look. Huh? Is this too cool or what? It's clean as can be. Yeah. Enjoy it while you got it because tortoises are not the cleanest. Now, I wish this would all be dirt and we would have a thousand acres of land. Uh, but we live in the heart of Los Angeles, so we do really well for a tortoise rescue in the heart of Los Angeles, right? We have it designed here to accommodate a lot of tortoises. They get to come out in the days and go over there. Look how cool. I'm so proud of this place, everybody. You know, I really am, okay? We have our, we have our workshop in there, okay? Behind there. This is now, we put dirt back in here over here. Why? Because Lumpy is looking to lay eggs again, or at least one egg. Check out that story, Lumpy uh, um, um, 
surprises us 17 years later. Yeah, 15. Okay, here we go. So come out over here. Okay. Leo doesn't know what to do, huh? All right. So we got two cool, we got three things going on here. Cool things, you ready? Look at Leo, he's chilling over there, chilling like a villain. I got, again, we, we rehome tortoises, okay? We're not a zoo. Uh, and this year, spring cleaning and all that is what is it about? We are really pushing to get a lot of these tortoises rehomed, okay? So we have to. That's part of what we do. And we also take tortoises in, although we're almost at capacity. However, yesterday, we have a new tortoise in tortoise land, all right? You ready for this, Susan? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm big, so hold on a second. Ready? It's like this unbelievable heritage. Oh, Good thing you're strong. I think I'm strong, but you know, right? Here we go. Ready? Oh, look who's here. Okay. Who is this little guy? Super shy. Okay. Hi, buddy. Super shy. Hi, pal. So shy. Alrighty. This guy is a Russian tortoise. Okay. About five years old. Do you have any other Russian tortoises? I don't. Okay. So okay. how many species? 13? Now 13 species here. Tortoise line, okay? Now Russian tortoises are very similar to Blackie the Greek tortoise, okay? Who's very similar to Punk the Mediterranean tortoise, okay? They all come, and Herman the Hermanto, they all come from the same general area, which is, you know, Greece and Mediterranean, Turkey, all that stuff, okay? So they're actually really closely um, uh, related, all of them, okay? They tend, they're smaller, which is great, okay? Leo, on the other hand, hi Leo. Hi. Leo, Leo is the fourth largest species in the world. <laughs> oh, okay. Shanty has a Russian little foot. Who does? Shanty. Shanty, you have a Russian, watch it, watch it, a Russian tortoise or a red foot? Russian little foot. Little, is that the name of the, the tortoise? I don't know. Little, okay, all right. <laughs> Susan's like, Kevin, I haven't had my coffee. No, okay. I have, okay. but I don't know what her tortoise is. Right, 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 right. So look at beautiful Leo. Hi, pal. Okay, right there. So everybody. She says yes. Oh, awesome. That's great. Listen, people, too, you have tortoise and turtles. Remember, I'm not the expert. I'm Kevin, the tortoise guy. I've been doing this for a while, so I learned from other people, too. Plus, we would love to hear, hear, hear. And tortoise land, share with others like like Shanty, if you know for your your little foot. If you guys out there have tortoises and you want to share with us what you have and the environment you they live in and what you do and how you feed them, we would love it. So you should call me, uh, reach out to me at the tortoiseguy.com, contact us or the tortoise guy Kevin at Gmail. Okay, and then what we could do is, if you're cool with it, you could do your own video and say, hey, everybody, I'm Shanty, and I want to show you a little foot, and he, I've had him this long, and here's where I keep him, and guess what? We would post the video here on Tortoise Guy. And the same thing if you have a tortoise or tortoises that you need to rehome, we can help you that way. You can live anywhere in the world, and we'll put it up on our show and on our website, and people can go to it and, and you know, go through us, through to you, uh, to make sure vet people properly. But how about that? How cool is that? Okay, so here's what. This is this is Terry, Russian tortoise. What's Terry's story? Well, guess what? Ready for this, Suzanne? I'm getting clever a little bit, okay? All right, so this is Terry, Russian tortoise. Who's this guy? Young guy came yesterday named Daniel. You see that what it says here? The video came out this morning. Meet little Terry and Daniel part one okay why part one because it's a two-part video daniel brought but terry over yesterday he shot a video about it he talks about terry the history why terry and so terry's now a a proud uh, member here of tortoise land okay so we will be looking for a home for terry okay uh in the coming months first we're going to make sure terry is really healthy get him checked out at the vet and all that stuff okay the video is great Awesome, awesome young guy, okay, found me on whatever and uh, and wanted to give this guy a better home. Now, there's a great story. So, what's the story? You got to watch the video. That's what, okay? You got to watch the video. It's up right now, okay? So, check it out, okay? Boom. Now, there'll be part two coming out uh, in the next day or two because we, the video, you know, we get so far and then we're going to tell you the rest. This is going to be part two. Rocky gets involved. As Rocky does, okay? 
So hang on for that, okay, everybody? Boom. All righty, and I'm gonna put this guy here on the heat pad. All right, we're gonna show you a squirrel named Nuts, and then we're gonna go inside, say hi to the baby, and we're gonna say goodbye for today, all right? It's cold out, like I said, so everybody's chilling. Okay. Everybody's chilling in there. Hi, everybody. She has a seven-year-old cicada. Who does? Shanty. Oh, you do? Three-stripe mud turtles. Shanty, wow. I can't see it. Okay. Shanty, that's cool. You have a lot. Why don't you do a video and share it with us? Would you want to do that? We would love it. And a red ear slider, 22-year-old named Jade, 15-year-old Eastern ornate box turtle named Huntress. No way. Love it, love it, love what you do. Share it with us, hit me up, okay? Just came in, came in to get the box turtle stuff. All right, come here, everybody. Hi, Leo, come here, okay? Tortoises are awesome, they're cool, they're smart, they're fun, they like chilling, okay? You know, and they and they walk a lot faster. Now look at this, we're getting so organized there, everybody, it's crazy. We got our we got our nice pools that we put all the smaller tortoises out in. We made uh, chicken wire lids for them to protect them. We got special tables to put them out on. We're doing it, everybody, and we could use your help. Patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. Put out videos every week that no one gets to see but you. Okay, I make them just for Patreon members for a dollar a month. That's all it costs. You can help us. Help us with the medical costs. Help us feed. One dollar a month. Patreon.com. Please help. Become a member. We're also on GoFundMe and PayPal. Okay? And those are the tortoise land. And that's a tax deductible donation. Okay? Help us out. All right. Let's go see. Mm -hmm. That's the squirrel. Okay. Just like Tracy, Punk is, tr Punk is now Shanty's favorite as well. Oh, no way. Punk is? Yeah? Awesome. Yeah? Leo. Don't tell anybody that. Leo's one of my but you know what Leo does? He waits for me to come out. Uh -huh. He waits. For, he waits right there and he's like, let me out of here, right? Now that's smart, right? No dumb, no dumb reptile here, pal. Nope. Okay? We're gonna let you go down. Oh, oh, and Leo. She likes Leo too. What's that? Shanti also likes Leo. Oh, Leo's awesome. And you scrub these guys clean and they look unbelievable. We have four. Okay? We have four. And Carrie's gorgeous over there. All right, so come here. Where's Rocky? Rocky! Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Well, let's go. Come here. You gonna come out? He knows we're doing a live stream, right? Today. Okay, so the big guys are in here. So we keep them from coming out because of the paint job. Now, everybody, come here. We got a cool thing happening. So this is nuts, okay? And we found nuts. We found Rocky. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come Rocky, come see nuts. All right, everybody, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna be quiet, okay? Susan, you go right up here. Ready? Watch. Watch. Hi, Nuts. Come here. Look at Nuts is doing so good. I don't know if you remember Suzanne a week ago. Nuts was injured. Okay? That's why Nuts is here. I was walking Piper and, and, and Rocky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Piper. Okay? And we found this injured little teeny tiny squirrel. Okay? Whose left uh, arm was severely injured, right? And uh, so we could not leave, would not leave the little guy. He was on the side of the road. I was able to catch him. Okay, look at how we do. And now a week later, I've been feeding him everything. I look on, on uh, you know, uh, look at all the crazy. All right, having some kale. So I found out what he eats and I just throw everything in there and he's super healthy. So you know what we're doing today, Susan? We're gonna Back release to him. Wild. We're gonna release him today, okay? We're gonna release him today. Unless he jumps out right now. See, look at him. Yeah, he's like, right? Oh, okay, well, I gotta close it up. Hi, right, honey. Okay, so guess what? We're gonna do a video about that today. Okay, because I love having him here. He's just been great. Although he does love to attack you, and Rocky stays right here, okay? All right, so we're gonna go in and see the babies, and we're gonna say thank you for, for coming. Look at Susan, look. Ah. The colors are all coming in. That needs a second coat of paint, but look. And over here, oh, you guys want to see, I'm not going to do it, but behind the gate there is a second set of gates. And what's going to be painted in there? Well, let me just tell you, Henry, the, the muralist, was here the other day. He sketched it all out. So we're going to have it ready in time for the fundraiser, May 20th and 21st. Okay, come on. All right. Where's my, you got to go find her. Go find her. Okay. 
All right, everybody. So this is where Shy Girl has. This is our Chuck Coleman Incubation Center. Chuck was a dear friend. He did a documentary called The Tortoise Whisperer on me. He passed away last year. Okay. So in honor of this beautiful man who we became best friends, it took him three years to come and film and do the documentary. You can see it if you just search Tortoise Whisperer and then they, and then you can see the whole documentary, 23 minutes. Okay. So this is where we've been incubating the eggs. 38 have hatched. And I think that might be about where we're at and what's going to happen. In about a month or so, we'll be ready to rehome a lot of the babies. Okay? So we're going to rehome. There's a small, uh, um, you know, a rehoming fee because we're a nonprofit and we've been taking great care of them. And, and if you're interested, we're going to tell you exactly how to care for them. You're going to show us that you that you have that, okay? And you're gonna know that they're the third largest species in the world. So the cool thing is, you'll watch them grow and you'll grow with them, you know, okay? And uh, so let's see, we can show them on. So let's see if anything's brewing in the incubator, okay? These are the shy girl's eggs that did not hatch, okay? Over here. Now these eggs came from the second clutch, okay? So every time when, when, when a tortoise lays the eggs, you call it a clutch of eggs. She's unprecedented in the number of eggs she's laid. I've never had a female tortoise, sulcata, any kind of tortoise, lay six clutches of eggs from one mating from one big male called Shelly, the abandoned tortoise, that is a great playlist. Shelly was only here for three months. We kept them separated, but he would break, break through the fence and they mated. And from that one mating, a, tor a female tortoise can stir store the sperm of a male for several years. Just one of the incredible fun facts about tortoises. So these have not hatched. They are way months uh, since they should have hatched where their brothers and sisters hatch. And so I don't want to throw them out yet. Just in case somebody comes super late, I don't think it's going to happen. Now over here, okay, this is where the 38th baby came from. And every day, I just don't know, day to day, if any anyone else is going to hatch, everybody, okay? So I just take a good look every day. Remember, you know, tortoises, uh, the sex is temperature dependent. So you see that? 85 degrees. If it's 80 degrees, it's going to be boys, most likely. 90 degrees is going to be girls. That's why global warming is a disaster. Nothing but females being born, okay? So this is what we do here in the incubator. We make sure it's moist. You can get these so cheap. It's called Hava Beta for less than 100 bucks. So this is this is called perlite and stuff. It's kept moist. You can check it out on how to videos. We have them here. So I open this up. I spray them down. Keep them nice and moist. Will anyone else hatch out? We have 38. Is that the end of the road? Uh, you know, well, it's been a huge road, you know, right? No matter what. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're going to, it's time now with spring and all to find homes for these. So they make awesome, awesome companions, not pets, right? You have to go to the tortoiseguy.com, contact us. All right, so let's go say hi to the babies, and then we're going to say bye for today, right? Where's Rocky? Is he over here? Hold on, let me go see. Let's go see. No, that means he's in there. He's in with the babies, everybody. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Again, patreon.com backslash the tortoise guy. One dollar a month. Oh, we'll go so far. We're trying to get a thousand people. To give us a buck a month. Okay, tax deductible. Let's see. He's not in there either. Okay, he's in the other room. I'm sure the other room. Okay, come here. All right, everybody. All right. This is where we edit all the videos. Okay. What's the video that came out this morning? This guy, Daniel, Rocky, come on, and the tortoise. That's Terry. The tortoise. Here comes Rocky. Come on, come see. Come on, come on. Ah. Oh! <laughs> oh so hey, what a, what a drug you Yeah. Yeah. So you got to go to that video, everybody. Okay, check it out. It's a great story. Find out what Terry's story is, right? Right, in fact, let's go see the babies. Come here, everybody. Let's go see, all right? So today, this morning, I've been up early and I gave these guys a nice mixture of, you name it, okay? It's a little bit of peas. Now, peas you want to only give a couple times a week. These guys love them, so I super ultra crush them up. So some of these little guys are challenged. They don't eat, they don't want to eat much, so peas sweetens the pot up. 
and they're high in protein, so you don't give too, too much. But what I do is I mix in the Missouri tortoise chow, calcium, all these other things, okay? But mostly what we got here is fresh grasses. See this? Me and Rocky Piper go out, we pick all kinds of grasses. They love broccoli tips. I take these, get big crowns of broccoli, and we go like this with the scissors super fast. And what's great about this is that they're little and tiny, so the little babies can eat them. Okay, like this. Look at here's a little baby. Come on in, say hi. Oh, Rocky, what you want to say hi? If you watch the videos, you see Rocky, he loves to lick them clean when we give him a bath, huh? He he's guardian and protector, right? Good. And in part, ah, there you go, thank you. In part two of the video over there, um, uh, Rocky gets involved, okay? I'm gonna, I want to introduce you to the baby number. Now, you want to see something crazy, everybody? Watch this, ready? One, two, three. No way! <laughs> right? No way, everybody, okay? Oh! <laughs> okay, hold on. Look at that, Rocky. Look at this, everybody. What? Boom, okay? 33 babies, everybody. Oh, here's Dent. Okay, this is a beautiful Dent. You may remember the story, Dent. Check out the videos, okay? Dent was born really messed up in a dented shell, okay? I don't know if you can see. Now, I want to find the newest baby. Here he is, everybody. This may be the last baby of Shy Girl, okay? Who knows, uh, right? So this is baby number, ready for this? What's the number, Susan? 38. 38. Rocky, you want to say hi? Come here. Okay? Look at that. So 38. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He'll never hurt him. Don't do this with your dog unless you're absolutely certain that your dog's, you know, not going to take a bite. So look at this. Beautiful 38. Okay? And 38 just came out. So look. So it has the yolk sac. See that? Can you see? Right? That, that's the remaining of the yolk that's in the egg when they're born. They sit in there and they absorb that. So he was he had absorbed enough of it that I got him out of there. Okay, gave him his first bath without these guys in his own container yesterday, and now he's good enough, big enough, you know, that to be uh, to be with these guys. I'd be extra careful because see that yolk sac. Got to be careful it doesn't get infected and stuff, you know. So I give him his own baths in the warm water, right? Not right like this. Okay, so look at these guys. On the nice sunny days, everybody, the cool thing about containers like this, not a, a glass container, the cool thing with this, guess what? Pick it up, we take it outside, the toy slab, and now we have the screens that go over, right? And they get to go outside in the sun, okay? So look at this, everybody, okay? So the biggest guy, look at this. See who's the biggest one? This is Alfred, okay? This is, this is charcoal, okay? Charcoal, the darkest one, we like to have interracial integration of our tortoises, okay? Uh, so this is charcoal, the, the, he's the darkest one, and look at, charcoal has taken off to take the lead in size. Now, can you believe this? Charcoal is only three months old, okay? Let me show you. Three months old, okay? And who's this? This is number 38. So charcoal was one of the first to be born less than three months ago. So Sulcata tortoises, third largest species in the world. Are you kidding me? It takes other species a year or two years or whatever to just get this size, like the Greek tortoise, all right? Okay? The African Sulcata, they born, they come out of their egg, and they're like, feed me, okay? Third largest species in the world can get up to 250 pounds. Our biggest one was Max. And Max is awesome, okay? So You're at 34. Okay, 34. We're going to wrap it up, everybody, okay? Wrap it up, okay? These guys are great. Like I said, a lot of them that are bigger now are getting ready to um, to be rehomed, right? That's right, okay? So we'll make sure they're good and they're healthy. And if you're thinking about it, we have a small rehoming fee. That money goes right back in towards them. I don't get a dime of it. We have a board of directors. Guess what? We have two more directors on the board. Karen and Lynn, okay? They both live in other other states. You don't have to live here to help us, okay? They both have gifted specialties of one of finding grants and money, 
which we need desperately. And the other is the amazing writer and stuff. So we're thrilled. Now that's five people on the board of directors of Twister. Okay? So the rehoming fee is minimal, and that money is tax deductible, and it goes right back to all these tortoises, right? Because that yeah, costs some money to take care of them all. Alrighty? So guess what, everybody? From the Tortoise Land Nursery, from Cray Cray Rocky, show that one more time, please. From the awesome Daniel and Terry, who just came in, um, we say thank you. Please help support us, patreon.com. Um, go find me, um, PayPal, and thank you if you've made a contribution the last week or so, and we haven't yet said thank you, okay? That's why we have a board of directors now to get more people helping us, okay, everybody? So, Rocky, what do you say? Let's see the little guy. Where is he at? He's spunky. Is this him? No? Well, ah, let's see. Look at how spunky Susan Henry is. Is this him? No? There's so many. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Look at So, here's... Three of the newest ones. Okay? And we say thanks for watching, everybody. Okay? Tortoises are great. Tortoises are awesome. And believe it or not, we do not actively breed. Shy girl happened to lay 134 eggs. We haven't had babies here in like three and a half years. Okay? But here they are. And we want we want people to know how great they are. Okay? Again, thank, thank you, everybody. Ray Rock, Suzanne, thanks for shooting. Take care till next Sunday at 9 o'clock. I know. I know. You're such a jerk. I know. You're so good.